Welcome to Real Estate Investor Machines, www.reitv.com. I'm your host, Nick Sifoni. I'm glad to have you with us tonight. This is Odie. For those of you that um, aren't familiar, I collect Pez. I don't know if you if you've read my Facebook page, you've seen that. I collect Pez. I have a few hundred of them, and Odie's one of my one of my favorites. If you could actually have a have a favorite, but in any case, this is uh, Zoo. You might remember him from an episode last week. He's going off tomorrow. We're bird sitting here. So, what are we talking about today? We're talking about becoming a bird dog. This is a two bird dog. Get it? Anyway. We're having a two-part session about bird dogs. We're going to talk about what bird dogs do, how to become one, and give you some tips to be a good one. But it is going to be a two-part episode. We're starting tonight, and we're going to finish probably, no, well, maybe tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. I like to try to get these out every day, but sometimes life gets in the way. I know tomorrow i got to run around. i got to go throw a lockbox on a house that i got available. i got a tenant move out. I actually had a tenant stay there for two whole years, pay their lease, as expected, and gets a security deposit back. Now, what do you think about that? She even replaced all the carpet in the living room, which is cool. So, anyway, how to become a bird dog. First off, what is a bird dog? A bird dog is also known as a house scout. It's somebody who, usually a new investor, although some people, that's as far as they ever progressed, they put some extra money in their pocket. But a bird dog is a new investor who doesn't really do deals themselves, but they find deals for other investors. It's kind of like, you know, it's a nickname, the bird dog, just like when you're hunting, uh, you know, you bring your dog with you, dog, and you send the dog out in front of you, and he sniffs the birds out, and the birds fly up, and <laughs> you shoot them down. Sorry, Zazu. In any case, um, it's the same thing that a bird dog does for investors. They find deals and bring them to us. I, I, I made my first... Uh, my first deal ever was a uh, what was a bird dog deal, and I, um, I I've shown you this once before or not, but I'll never I'll never get rid of this copy here. Um, I know you can't really read it real clearly, but it's my first check there. Um, Pay to the order of Nick Safoni five hundred and zero zero one hundred dollars for consulting services delivered, and it's a it's an easy way to make a buck. But you know, I did my first bird dog deal. And I made 500 and the other guy made more, so I decided I was going to take the next step. But it's a great way to learn the business and to get to know some other contacts within the business. Now, as a new bird dog or someone who decides you want to be a bird dog, you have to find, you have to find an investor to work for. I don't suggest you find a whole bunch of them because, you know, it's okay to have one or two, but if you're sending deals to more than one investor and they find out, you might be in deep doo-doo, and you know, you only got one reputation, and once it's shot, it's shot. So I suggest you find an investor to work with. Now, how do you find an investor to work with as a bird dog? There's a lot of different ways. First off, as you're driving around, which is one of the ways you're going to find properties to submit to them, look for bandit signs. When you see signs on the posts and you see signs in the ground, um, write down the number. They're usually put up by investors. Now, I don't know why, but there's investors that put those things up and they don't answer their phones and they don't return their calls. But in any case, write down those phone numbers. Yet when you get home or back to your office or wherever you're working from, call them and just introduce yourself. Hi, I'm so-and-so. I, I, I'm wondering if you're looking for, I know you're looking for deals. I'm, I'm a bird dog. I'm, I'm looking for some investors to work with. You could also get it out of the newspaper. Go to the real estate section, open up to houses for sale, and you'll usually see we buy houses ads in the newspaper. Call them, same story. Call them, introduce yourself, tell them what you do. Go to Google. This is a great way to find local investors. Um, go to Google and type, let's say you live in Detroit. Sorry, <laughs> just joking. Anyway, let's say you live in Detroit. Type, sell my house, Detroit. Click. And you're going to have a whole bunch of stuff come up in Google. Now, don't call realtors, obviously, but you're going to have investors come up. You're going to have listings come up that say, you know, we'll buy your house in 24 hours. Again, it's those famous three words. We buy houses. So find them in Google. Check them out. Call them up. Same story. Tell them who you are what you do. Another great place is Craigslist. There's investors on Craigslist looking for, for people. Uh, my company, we advertise on Craigslist for bird dogs. We pretty much any day of the week, or really almost close to any day of the week, you go on to Craigslist for Chicago, Illinois, uh, Northern Illinois, Northwest Indiana, Wisconsin, pretty much, you know, 
any of those spots, you go to Craigslist and you go into the miscellaneous job section, you're going to find my ad in there looking for bird dogs. So you can do that. And another great way to find a good investor to work with and, and really get to know the guy, well, I almost say get to know him, but get a good first impression or a bad first impression is by going to your local real estate investor meeting. Go to your RIA meetings. There's loads of investors there, and I guarantee you there's guys there that are looking for deals, looking for bird dogs. They would be happy to have you work with them. Um, <clears throat> now, what are you looking for in an investor? You're looking for an investor who kind of suits your style. You know, it's got to be somebody you like. It's hard to work with somebody you don't like. It's got to be somebody who, you know, if you're, that, that just suits you, that, that you feel good about. You know, sometimes you go with the gut. That's the most important thing. So I suggest you find somebody who's somewhat automated that has some type of system you could use to submit your deals um, or at least has an idea of how he wants to get deals from you. Uh, I suggest you go with somebody that has a website. I suggest you go with somebody that's a little bit flexible. The only way you get to know that is by talking, asking questions, seeing what he's looking for, uh, seeing what he's willing to pay. And I suggest you find someone that's doing deals. You know, there's a lot of investors out there that they say they're investors, but they've never bought a house. And I'm not knocking you. If that's the type of investor you are, hopefully we can help you out. You might want to become a bird dog to get some experience because it's usually just a little bit of fear holding you back. I know. I've been there. But in any case... You want to make sure he's doing some deals. Now, you don't put him through the ringer. You don't want to ask him for proof or anything, but you'll get a feel talking to the guy for a few minutes or a woman if they're actually doing deals. Now, some questions that you want to ask when you find this investor who's happy to work with him is how do I submit my deals? Do you want me to submit them by fax? Do you want me to submit them by email? Do you have a website I can go and fill out a form on, which is how ours is totally automated. Our bird dogs just fill out a form on a website. And then we have a separate forum that our bird dogs can go to at any time to, to ask questions about their deals, see where their deals are in the pipeline and that type of thing. You want to find out what kind of deals they're working with. Depending on where you live, you might not be suited to bird dog forum without really going out of your way. I mean, if you're looking, if, if that investor only works with junkers in the ghetto and you don't live anywhere near the ghetto, it might not be the kind of guy you work you want to work with. You know, you want to find out what kind of deals he's doing. Is he a wholesaler? Is he a rehabber? Is he a buy and flipper? Is he a flip and buyer? Whatever it might be. Um, you want to find out what kind of houses he's working with. You want to find out also, this is a little further down the road in the relationship, but you want to find out what percentages he's looking to buy. Um, nothing will upset an investor more. Well, there are things that could invest in, that could upset him more, but Nothing will hurt the relationship more than you sending in deals that are garbage just to send in deals. You know, don't do that. Make sure that you know his criteria. Ask him, you know, what percentage of retail are you looking for in your houses? What price range are you looking for? Are you looking for seven, eight hundred thousand dollar houses or are you looking for seventy or eighty thousand dollar houses? Find out what you know, the dollars he's looking for, find out the percentage of discounts he needs to kind of help you the more you can give him I know in my business we prefer quality over quantity. I would rather have one good lead a week from a bird dog than five so-so leads a week because it's more work on me and on my team and to, to sort through them. Um, find out what you're expected to do. Does he expect just a name and an address, or does he expect a name, an address, a phone number, um, pictures of the house? We like our bird dogs to have pictures of the house. Uh, so find out what that investor ins expects from you. Uh, how you know is this going to be a full-time job, a part-time job? What is it that he wants you to do? Um, now the question is going to come up, and I've heard a lot about this, right, Zazu? Right. The question is going to come up. How do I know I'm going to be paid? I've really heard some new bird dogs really, really worried that that investor is going to rip me off. I'm going to send him my leads, and he's going to do the deal, and he's not going to pay me. I've heard a lot of bird dogs say that. I've heard talk about it. But not once in all the, the years that I've been doing this have I ever heard of an investor not paying a bird dog. I've never heard of it. Now, I'm sure, has it ever happened? Probably. But I've never heard of it. So don't be so freakishly negative or freakishly paranoid that you're not going to get paid. Um, you're probably going to get paid. Remember, real estate investors, the guys that are good and are systemized and have, this, have, it, have it happening for them and are doing deals, they don't want to spend a lot of time looking for deals. They'd rather be spending time doing their deals, closing their deals, um, negotiating with sellers, showing the houses to buyers, and doing marketing. The more deals you bring into him, the less marketing he has to do, which means the less money out of his pocket that he has to spend. Believe me, if you're bringing quality deals 
to an investor. He's not going to blow you off for five hundred or a thousand dollars or whatever it is. He wants you to work with him and he wants you to continue doing it. Now, I got a little BS for you, by the way. This is something that you don't get from many investor trainers, but it is a bandit sign. BS, get it? Bandit sign. Um, this is our site for Bird Dog Cash. You might want to go check it out. www.birddogcash, and it's um, it, it's where our bird dogs sign up if they want to work for us. Go check it out. If you're an experienced investor, it might be something you might want to copy. It's a good system. It's all automated. They go to Craigslist. They see our ad in the paper wherever it is. They go to www birddogcash.com, they fill out a form, they instantly get an email. I'll talk about that whole system another time. But in any case, um, getting back to this, if you're nervous, that was a word from our sponsors. If you, I forgot to do it earlier, to be honest with you. But if you're worried about being paid, if you, if you want, have a contract. Get a simple contract that, you know, he says he'll pay you for the leads you give him, whatever it might be. You know, some guys use them, some don't. Um, next episode i got to cut it about now. I think it's time for Zazu's feeding. But uh, we're going to continue this on the next call, on the next call, on the next episode. And we're going to talk about how to find deals. It was really too much to go into all in one. I don't want to have to make you sit here 20 minutes listening to me tonight so, or this afternoon or whatever it is. I guess it's night. But, um, so today we talked about what a bird dog does. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about pay. I think I touched on it briefly, but usually five hundred to a thousand dollars is about how much a bird dog gets for each deal that he brings to an investor. But everything's negotiable. I know if bird dog brings us a deal that we make fifty thousand dollars on, he's going to get more than a thousand bucks. He's going to get two or three, and I, that's not a lot, but it's a lot more than five hundred. And you know, so we think we're very fair about it. We're very flexible about it. If a bird dog ever said, "I think I should make more money for this deal," we'd be open to negotiating it with them. Because, uh, you know, you don't want to slap the hand that feeds you. Anyways, next episode, stay tuned. We're going to talk about how to find deals as a bird dog. And really, it's how to find deals as an investor in general. But we're kind of going to, kind of going to go into more what the bird dogs might do to find their deals. Uh, basically, free ways to find deals instead of spending money like most investors do. Um, a little bit of housekeeping. We've had a handful of names submitted. i got a little bit more BS for you. Another band at side. You want to make 50 bucks? I know you've seen this one before, but I've still got 50 bucks going away. I've got about uh, 22 dozen or so submissions for names of this show. I want to have a new name for this show. I know we're going to, it's always going to be REI-TV.com, but I want to have some nickname to give it. So again, 50 bucks is what the bandit sign says for the person that wins, and I'm going to be picking a winner within the next week or so. So send some of those in. Also, please stay in touch with me. Let me know what you want to hear about on the show. We, we're, we're really interested in giving you what you're looking for. And right now we're small. We've only got a thousand or so viewers an episode. We have plenty of time. I get a lot of emails, but I have plenty of time to cater shows towards what you want. And again, at the grand opening coming up in a couple of weeks. It's not just going to be me here talking anymore. I'm going to be bringing in experts from all around the country, giving you good advice on how to take your business to the next level. So, say goodbye to Zazu. He's going home over the next couple of days. Odie's going to hang out. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Thanks.